Diane, we're doing a, a humorous look at the Oscars. How VIP is the VIP treatment? Um, well, let's see, I can't remember where I stayed, actually. <laughs> it was very nice. Um, I remember uh, my brother and my sister-in-law came, and I said, you know, Donnie, to my brother, I said, somebody's going to pick you up at the airport, and, and so don't worry about, you know, a taxi or something. And um, a driver got out and went up to them, and Kathy thought that he was a personal friend, so she said, hi, I'm <laughs> Kathy Reese. My brother said, hi, I'm Donnie. And then he put on his hat and got in the front seat, and, and they realized. <laughs> so I guess that was sort of unusual. Um, it's really just so nerve-wracking, though, and so hectic. Um, if you didn't have to be under the pressure, um, I guess you would have a chance to enjoy the fact that you're riding around in a big car. Although I don't know, I don't know how enjoyable that is. Sometimes when actors do films, sometimes they seem to maybe signify more of a risk than other films. I'm thinking of two movies, uh, Edward Scissorhands and Parenthood. When you did those, did you think they would be big box office hits? No. No, not at all. I, I remember how much I loved um, when I read Parenthood. Of course, it was for Ron Howard, and he's done um, a lot of hits, but this was a departure for Ron, you know, this sort of family movie. Um, and I remember thinking, this is truly, truly funny, but also very dark. It had a very dark side. And I thought the same with Edward Scissorhands. I thought, gee, this is so bizarre and unusual that it won't be mainstream at all. It won't be a commercial uh, success. So they both were surprises. Yeah. Woody Allen films are famous for the secrecy around them, that no one knows anything about them when they're being filmed. What kind of forms does that take for, for an actor when you're shooting one of his films? Well, I guess I'm lucky because I've worked with him so much that I, I always get the script ahead of time, so I know what's going on. But I know that um, it must be nerve-wracking to come in and, and not know. But I think everyone with a major uh, role that has to continue through the film does know beforehand. Otherwise, it would be very hard to do it. But the minor roles don't. They just sort of come in and, and do it, which is remarkable. Yeah. You know, I love your costumes in this film, and just the right l nice little touches. Is that something you and, and the costume designer worked on together? Or? Oh, I, no, I have to give that all to Jeff, Jeffrey Curlin. I mean, he, I, I have to say, Jeffrey found my character of Helen for me. By the way he dressed me, I sort of understood the character once he put these costumes on me. You know, he's, he's so gifted and so remarkable. Yeah. You know, this movie has a lot to, to do with maneuverings behind the scenes. Uh, have you ever been in a production that has had anything close to this type of backstage drama? Thank God I haven't. No. <laughs> Thank God I haven't. No. No, no. <laughs>